Hello, I am Test Drive, and welcome to episode 17 of Project Gotham Racing 3. In this episode, we're doing the Odo style series. I have no clue if I said that right, but we are going to Tokyo with its fantastic color scheme yet again. And we have five events, a drift challenge, a speed challenge, overtake, two overtakes, and a cone challenge. So, we shall buy a new car. And uh, I want to buy a certain car. Which I think... Should be in here, maybe? Oh. The alphabetic doesn't really work, considering some of them are based on the the model name, some of them are based on the, the manufacturer name. Yeah, it's not really, not really working out too well. Anyways, I'm gonna use this. I want to use the indigo because indigo is cool. So therefore, we shall use indigo. We use this car, and we'll do it on medium. Why not? Okay. Let's try this again. Uh, but this time, realize that this car is not a good drifting car. I didn't think it was going to be, but I thought it would be at least okay enough to where I could get through this, but uh, it turns out it's kind of poo-poo for sliding, which makes sense. It looks basically like an F like some very futuristic and strange F1 car. I've also achieved my target, which is nice. Also, the brake lights are strange in this car. Not sure if I ever saw noticed those on Ford Racing 2 and 3. No, I guess we're done. Okay. I got 535 kudos. I'm an overachiever, kind of. Let's continue on to the next race. Whenever it loads, that is. There it is. Speed challenge. This car should be okay for this. It doesn't seem to accelerate very fast, but that's all right. Okay, let's go. Time to go fast. Hey, it's the Epson building. That's also in PGR4. Understandably. I'm pretty sure that's also in uh, Forza 1, now that I think about it. Okay, I need to be going 104. What gear do I need to be in for that? Definitely 4th, okay. Ah, fuck. Go. <laughs> Not even close. Alright. Let me restart that real quick. Why do you have to load every time I restart? You shouldn't have to load anything. What happened to using the RAM of the game console for the very slightest thing? Literally, all I have to save is the fact that I'm on this track and I'm using the SCAR in doing this event. Okay, if I don't crash into the wall... That's what I think about this. Why do I keep getting... Can I get... I'm getting notifications for things on Facebook. That I don't want to be... Unfollow. There we go. I was never even included th in this thing. Never posted in it. Never touched anything relating to it. it is, I get notifications for like any time anybody posts in it. Hey, 106.5, the arch. Nice. Yes, I got kudos. Hooray. Next. Next up is an overtake, which should go fairly well. This car seems to be quick enough. All right, let's go. Ah, oh, yes, the tiny... So, oh yeah, the, there's lights on the uh, the mirrors too. I forgot about that. Is that a Nardo? That is a Nardo in front of me. That's kind of spooky. Oh, this car turns way too sharply. I'm not used to it. I I run into the inside of corners, not the outside. What the hell's up with that? Uh, 
Oh god. Go, go, go. I'll do a thumbnail real quick. Thumbnail photo time. Oh, f I keep trying to... I don't know what I'm exactly trying to do. It's something for sure. Let's go ahead and take this picture. Voila. That really didn't capture the full crazy essence of this car, but whatever. I really don't care. Ah, I got a clean... Ooh, the, uh... The GT90 concept. Ah, uh, excuse me. The better handling Ford concept car is coming through. Have I unlocked the GT90? I don't think so. I think that's still upcoming. If I remember right. Sledgehammer. Sledgehammer. It's a good song by Peter Gabriel. I find it funny that Genesis, when it included Peter Gabriel, was not very popular. And it got really popular, of course, when Phil Collins joined. Or whenever Phil Collins took over as the, the, uh, the singer. But also, Peter Gabriel, on his own solo thing, got more popular than Genesis was whenever he was the front man for it. Super interesting. Because, like, he had Sledgehammer, Big Time, a couple others that I don't remember the names of. Okay, next. Now you overtake. Let's go. Okay, let's go. Another night race, too. Like, this car looks like it could be just, like, some crazy future indie car. With the way it's shaped and the open wheel design and everything like that. Hello, Lamborghini. I need to pass you. Here in the Hollywood Hills with my Lamborghini. God, that's a throwback. That video is like five years old now, I think. Which is ridiculous to think about, at least for me. I like how I'm overtaking the that, the MC12. Hello? I find that intriguing. Ugh! car does not like to slide, fun fact. I feel like everybody could have figured that out, but uh, definitely does not like to slide. I'm really sad, like, obscure uh, concept cars like this were omitted from, like, oh, so many other games. Just anything in the future past this game. I think this is the newest game. Speaking of which, Interior. Very fancy with a total of two gauges. Well, technically one gauge thing. It's got a tachometer, your gear, and your speed. Everything you need. Look at Pagani. Oh, excuse me. Oh, God, excuse me, please. <laughs> oh, my mirror's broken. Son of a bitch. Does it actually work? I think it does. Ooh. That's something that even Forza can't get right. I think I even see the rear wheel on it, actually. I can't. Oh, fuck. Oh, god damn it. I'm pretty sure I even see the... Well, maybe I don't see the rear wheel for the car. Never mind. I was like, wow, that's cool. But sadly, not exactly as cool as I was expecting or cool as I was thinking. Excuse me, I need to pass you and the person in front of you. If that wouldn't be too much of a bother for either of you. Please, let me pass. Okay. Hello, last car I need to pass. What are you? Henlo? That's an Enzo. Henlo, Enzo. Enzo, Sharari. Haha, I win. Let's go. Not surprised that one, but still nice. I have no clue what my last race is going to be, by the way. I don't remember. It might be a timed run. Hot lap? I don't remember. I don't remember at all. OK, 
Okay, it is a cone challenge. I remember now. This is gonna be interesting, to say the least. Alrighty. I just realized the, the parking light break on the, the gauges works. That's fucking cool. I had no clue, honestly. This game has actually a lot of little things that are pretty neat. Like, I'm pretty sure I've only ever seen that work in Gran Turismo 5 and 6 and Sport and stuff. Speaking of Gran Turismo, who is excited for Gran Turismo 7? I am excited for it simply because of the fact that in the preview, you could see on the menu that there was a used car dealership. And that, my friends, is the ultimate in Gran Turismo technology right there. I fucking adore the used car dealership. And I'm so glad they're bringing it back after it uh, not being in GT6. Ugh. I should probably bank this stuff, but whatever. Ugh. Ew. I'm gonna have a shitload of kudos. Ugh. That was really close. I'm surprised I've done this well also in cockpit view. Ugh. Throw it into the wall. Hey! I did it. 12,000 kudos. I'll take it. That was incredible. Yeah, I think I passed by getting 11,070 kudos more than I needed. Just gonna throw it out there that I may have passed that. And there we go. How much money am I gonna get? 175. And we have new championships unlocked that don't really matter because they're all the way over here. Oh, you see that? Oh, we're getting close. Anyways, thank you all so much for watching this episode of PGR3. Thank you for watching. I don't know why I said that twice. And I shall see you all in the next one.